Hey there fashion bosses, how are you doing? In today's class, we are learning how to make this beautiful design. Yes, this very one. Some people call it leaf design. Some people call it 3D effects design. But it's really very trendy right now. Okay, easy to embellish your outfits. Okay, so if this is what you would like to learn, please kindly stay to the end of this video. I also encourage you to subscribe if this is your first time. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much. Do well to tap on the bell so you get notified each time we drop new video. Like this video, share it, give it a thumbs up. All right, as we dive straight into the class. It's a very simple tutorial and a very quick one at that. So the materials we need to, you know, get the style done are my fabric. Okay. So I'm using a doll face um, fabric for it. I have my trimmings. You saw trimming, you know, on the design. So I have this trimming for it. Okay. I have my marker pen. I have my scissors. And then I have my So I just put all of this aside. Okay. So I've gone ahead to infuse my fusible into... I actually use a wording the very soft wording you can use um a gum stay okay but i want to give it a bit of stability and width so i had to use the very soft um wording okay to pad my fabric you can't do it without padding the fabric it's either you use this very light wording or you use your gum stay all right so i'm just going to show you how to create the shape or how to get the shape okay so at first i'll measure so you are, you also have to determine in your heart how long and how wide you want the flower shape to be hope you understand that how long and how wide it depends on the part of the dress you want to embellish you, you don't necessarily have to um create the very design you saw on the thumbnail you can get creative with it by um embellishing other parts of your dress or your garment you can use it on your sleeve parts anywhere just get creative with it now the part you are going to embellish will determine the length and the width hope you understand this right so what i am going to use is going to be 10 inches okay 10 by 5. the width the length is going to be 10 inches and the width is going to be 5 inches all right so i have here already 10 inches okay So I'm going to roll a line. I'm creating about nine of the shape. Okay, this isn't going to be enough. I'm just using this for the benefits of this class. Okay. So I said the length is 10 inches. The length from here to here is 10 inches. Then the wideness is 5 inches. That's what I measured. 5 inches. And then I'm just going to square up my lines. So I've squared up my line. Okay. So I'll get my curve ruler. So I get my curve ruler, but before I use my curve ruler, I will look for the midpoint of this 5 inches, which of course is going to be 2.5, okay? The midpoint is going to be 2.5, so mark it there and then come down to do the same. And then I'll square up the line. 
and then I'll just place my roller. Please watch properly, okay? So on this made point, this line here, I'm going to measure either five, 0 0.5 inch or 0 0.7 inch on both sides. This totally depends on you, okay? How pointy you want the tip of the flower shape design to be, okay? So I'm going to position my ruler on this 0 0.5 inch that I just got. this way hope you got it you can also choose to do a free hand um curving if you do not have the curve ruler so i position my ruler this way on that 0 0.5 point and then i will curve it like this okay i will turn my ruler and do the same here whatever i did here i'm going to do here as well so i place my ruler on the 0 0.5 line here and then i will curve it so this is it you see the shape it has formed the shape already so it totally depends on how big you want it to be hope you understand and then we are just going to cut it off So I can choose to just do a little curve around here. Okay. So I'm going to use this shape now to cut because we are adding two in one. We need to cut another one so that we can use one to turn the other. Hope you understand. So I'm going to place this here and then use it to cut out another one. Okay. So this is it this is what we have i'm going to use this to cut out the remaining um pieces because we need nine pieces of this nine pieces when it has become one but like this we are looking for 18 pieces but by the time you use one to turn the other it becomes nine hope you understand so i'm going to use this now to cut the remaining and then show us what to do so at this point, now you're going to take it to your sewing machine, place it like this, the right side of the fabric facing the right side of the other one, and then you're going to go sew, okay? You're going to sew it down using either a 0 0.25 inch or a 0 0.5 inch. You sew it up to this point because we're turning it out from the bottom. So you sew from here, okay, down to here, we'll turn it out from the bottom. 
Hope you understand. We'll do the same to the rest of the piece and then we'll get back to us. Okay, so I've sewn, as you can see. And the next thing for us to do now is to notch because of the shape. So that when you turn it inside out, it will relax properly. I can even go ahead to trim off a few excesses so you don't have a lot of bulkiness on the inside. Okay. So after nurturing, you turn it inside out. So when you turn it inside out this way, you go ahead to give it a very good press so that it comes out flat. Okay? For me, I'm going to use my stoning machine to press it so that it is extremely flat for me because of the wording okay so i'm going to go press it down with my stoning machine and then i'll get back to us all right so this is what we have we have a total of nine pieces one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so the next thing for us to do right now is to embellish it with uh, gum so you can either use your UHU gum or your wax and so it's either you use your glue gun or you use your UHU gum or your E6 7000 whichsoever one you have at your disposal and that also works well for you okay So I can use either of both, okay? Either of both are actually good, but you also have to be very careful so you don't spill. So your gun does, your glues does not mess up your designs, okay? So I apply my gum and then leave it for a little while to get dried a little. Let's say a few seconds into a minute or so. You can either blow it or if there is fun at where you are working you just leave it for a few seconds the reason is because you don't want your glue or your UHU gum to mess up your fabric when it's still very wet like that it can spill over to the part of the fabric where you don't want it to get to so you have to be very sensitive about it okay by allowing it dry a little so I'll just place it like this at the edge carefully and neatly carefully and neatly
and then when I get to this ending part, I will just cut it off. Okay, the excess. And then I'll do the same to the other side. So I'm just going to embellish only this one and then show us how to position it so that the video will not be excessively long, okay? So basically, this is just how to place it. So this is what we have. You see how beautiful and how neat is looking? Hmm? I didn't get to put at this side because after the arrangement, we're going to cover this down part with another trimming. Okay. So I'll just stop with this. I believe you've gotten the tricks and techniques on, on how to go about this. So in placing it on the fabric, on your outfit, just the way you saw it on the thumbnail, after you've applied your trim, you've, you've applied your trimming. Okay, so you just arranged it, arrange it this way. But I will advise if your client or whoever you are making this for is within reach, okay, I will advise that the client comes in and then you arrange this on the client's body whilst wearing the dress so that you get the proper fitting. You know where and what direction each and every one of this um, pattern is pointing to or facing. Hope you understand that, okay. So you place it this way and then you glue so if you are gluing, it means that if you have your way, you don't have to allow your trimming to get to this end part. So what you do, another trick, what I would advise you to do, okay, is you place it this way first, okay? You arrange it first like this. Another trick is either you, apply, you attach your trimming first or you do this one I'm about to show you. So after arranging your patterns hope you can see exactly what we have on the thumbnail okay you don't necessarily have to use nine pieces this also depends on how whoever you're making it for how big the person is you know so it's oftentimes neither here nor there hope you understand so if you've actually watched this video up to this point and you've not subscribed i want to encourage you to click on the, tap on the subscription button and do well to tap on the bell so you'll be the first to get notified each time we drop a new video and if you are a returning subscriber on this channel thank you so very much like i will always say without you guys there will never be a fashion boss okay let me shift it so that you see it properly. So basically, this is how to go about it. You can see it's looking exactly like what we have on the thumbnail. So you can you can get creative about it, like I mentioned earlier. Okay, you can use it for different parts of your outfit. So this is the part that is going to sit on the waist. We are going to use another trimming to cover this part. That is why we do not use this trimming. You know on this part so after setting it up like this you then use your glue gun to hold each down to the next one or if you want to tack it's totally fine okay it depends on what works for you as at the time so you glue all right you glue and then at this point now you can now come in with your trimming and attach your trimming up to this point this also saves trimming for you you know you come to the next one you attach up to this point instead of attaching it up to this point and this part is not going to be seen okay hope you understand the trick 
very well then so you attach your trimming you blew your trimming to it okay basically and then you either attack the pieces or the patterns or you glue it okay i don't want to glue mine now i will i'm wait i wait for my clients to come and then i will arrange this on a birdie okay so that i can get a perfect positioning and fitting but if your client is not within reach you can just you know at, at um tack everything together or glue everything together it becomes one piece and then you carry it and position it on your outfit neatly and properly all right so i've come to the end of this class please do not go away without subscribing like and share the video give it a thumbs up and then look forward to our next video thank you so very much bye bye